হ্যালো স্টুডেন্টস কাইলে যেহেতু তোমালোকৰ এনভাইৰনমেণ্টেল এডুকেশ্যনৰ এক্সাম আছে সো তার মই তোমালোকৰ কাৰণে কেটামান ইম্পৰ্টেণ্ট শ্বৰ্ট কুৱেশ্যন আনসাৰ লৈ আনিছোঁ সো আহা কুৱেশ্যনসকিটা চাও ফাৰ্ষ্ট কুৱেশ্যন ডিফাইন বায়োডাইভাৰ্চিটি সো বায়োডাইভাৰ্চিটি কি হয় বায়োডাইভাৰ্চিটি ৰেফাৰ্চ টু দ্য নাম্বাৰ ভেৰাইটি এণ্ড ভেৰিয়েবিলিটি অফ অল লাইফ ফৰ্মছ অন আৰ্থ উইচ ইনক্লুডছ মিলিয়নছ অফ প্লান্স এনিমেলছ এণ্ড মাইক্ৰ অৰ্গেনিজমছ দ্য জিনছ দে কণ্টেইন এণ্ড দ্য ইনটিগ্ৰেট ইক' ছিষ্টেমছ অফ উইচ দে আৰ আ পাৰ্ট নেক্সট কুৱেশ্যন নম্বৰ টু উইচ ডে ইজ অবজৰ্ভ এজ দ্য ৱৰ্ল্ড এনভাইৰনমেণ্ট ডে চ' ৱৰ্ল্ড এনভাইৰনমেণ্ট ডে কেতিয়া পালন কৰা হয় ফিফ্থ জুন নেক্সট কুৱেশ্যন নম্বৰ থ্ৰী ৰাইট দ্য ফুল ফৰ্ম অফ এন ডি আৰ এফ ইট ইজ নেশ্যনেল ডিজাষ্টাৰ ৰেছপন্স ফৰ্চ নেক্সট কুৱেশ্যন নম্বৰ ফ'ৰ গিভ এক্সাম্পল অফ ওৱান লটিক এক্ুৱেটিক ইক' ছিষ্টেম চ' ইট ইজ ৰিভাৰ নেক্সট কুৱেশ্যন নম্বৰ ফাইভ নেম ইট ট্ৰেছ গেছ অফ দ্য এটমস্ফিয়াৰ so it is ozone next question number 6 give an example each of artificial ecosystem and terrestrial ecosystem so artificial ecosystem or example aquarium debo para aro terrestrial ecosystem or example desert next question number 7 name the main gas which causes ozone layer depletion it is chlorofluorocarbons cfcs next question number 8 mention the shape of the cautionary road signs as per the motor vehicles act 1988 so the cautionary road signs are triangular in shape with a red border next question number nine in natural ecosystem bacteria and fungus have been considered as which type of consumers so they are considered decomposers or micro consumers next question number 10 write the full forms of the following so sdrf it is state disaster response fund next capf central armed police forces NIDM National Institute of Disaster Management ASDMA Assam State Disaster Management Authority NDMA it is National Disaster Management Authority SDMA it is State Disaster Management Authority and DDMA it is District Disaster Management Authority next question number 11 what is an ecosystem so ecosystem is a community of organisms involved in a dynamic network of biological chemical and physical interactions between themselves and with the non-living components next question 12 write the name of a national park of assam so it is kaziranga national park next question number 13 where is loktak lake situated it is situated in manipur next 14 fill in the blanks type question mandatory road signs are generally round in shape with a red border next question 15 in which part of the atmosphere is ozone found it is found in stratosphere Next question 16. What is the name of outer mantle of earth? It is lithosphere. Next question 17. When was the United Nations first decade of action for road safety launched? So it was launched on 11th May 2011 and its first period was from 2011 to 2020. Next fill in the blank type questions. Uranium is a non-renewable energy resource. 19. Frog is secondary level consumer of an ecosystem next question 20 what is meant by grazing food chain so a grazing food chain is a type of food chain that begins with living green plants and then follows the flow of energy from these plants to herbivores and potentially to carnivores all relying on solar energy for the initial energy input next 21 it is also fill in the blank type food chain is always unidirectional next question 22 mention one major mine disaster occurred in india so one major mine disaster that occurred in india was the 1965 dhanbad coal mine disaster where an explosion at the dhori colliery near dhanbad led to a fire that killed 268 miners next question 23 what percent of the earth's surface is covered by water bodies 71 percent next question 24 what percent of oxygen is found in the earth's atmosphere 21 percent next question 25 give an example of an omnivore as well as a detrivo so omnivore man detrivo ends next question 26 when was the disaster management act adopted by the government of india on 23rd december 2005 next question 27 when were the following acts passed? So, if following act book, it is passed. So, Environment Protection Act 1986, Forest Conservation Act 1980, Wildlife Protection Act 1972, Wildlife Protection Amendment Act 1991, Motor Vehicles Act 1988, Assam Motor Vehicle Rules 2003, 
Assam Motor Vehicle Taxation Act 1936, Central Motor Vehicles Rules 1989. Next, question 28. What is the percentage of carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere? It is approximately 0.04%. Next, question 29. What is known as a group of individuals of the same species present in an area at a given time? It is population. Next, question 30. Give example of one non-renewable resource and one vehicular emission causing air pollution. So, an example of a non-renewable resource is fossil fuels while a vehicular emission causing air pollution is carbon monoxide. Next, question 31. Vopal gas disaster took place in which month and year? So, it took place in the month of December in 1984. Next, question 32. In which month of the year road safety week is observed? It is observed in the month of January. Next, 33. Every food chain begins with a producer. 34. Picture plant is a carnivorous plant. 35. What does it signify if there is a white broken line on a two-way road? On a two-way road, a white broken line indicates that drivers can change lanes when it's safe to do so, allowing for overtaking or passing but with caution. Next, question 36. Give an example of a contaminant pollutant. It is sulfur dioxide. Next question 37. Give the name of a biosphere reserve in India. Manas Biosphere Reserve. Next question 38. Cholera is a bacterial disease, specially caused by the bacteria Vibrio cholerae. Next question 39. What does amber light in a traffic signal mean? So an amber or yellow light indicates that the signal is about to turn red and drivers should stop if it's safe to do so or proceed with caution if stopping would be unsafe. Next question 40. Name two radioactive pollutants. It is cobalt 60 and cesium 137. Next question 41. Write short notes on the following. So food chain. A food chain is a linear sequence that demonstrates how energy and nutrients are transferred from one organism to another as each consumes the other starting with producers like plants and ending with apex predators or decomposers. Next, food web. A food web is a complex network of interconnected food chains that illustrates the feeding relationships and energy flow within an ecosystem. Food web is a network of food chains where different types of organisms are connected at different tropic levels so that there are a number of options of eating and being eaten at each trophic level. The two most important functions of the ecosystem that is energy flow and nutrient cycling take place through them. Next is Wildlife Protection Act 1972. The Wildlife Protection Act 1972 enacted on September 9th, 1972 is a key piece of Indian legislation aimed at protecting wildlife, including animals, birds, and plants, and ensuring ecological security. It regulates and controls trade in wild animals, plants, and products derived from them. The act facilitates the establishment and management of protected areas like national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. Next is sustainable development. So development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the needs of the future generations is called sustainable development. It's often described as having three interconnected pillars. They are economic growth, which ensures a stable and sustainable economy that supports the development, uh, social equity, which promotes uh, fairness and equality for all people, including access to resources, education and opportunities and environmental protection which protects and preserves natural resources and ecosystems for the benefit of current and future generations. Next question 42. What is indicated by three kinds of light at traffic signals? So at traffic points, the three colors of traffic lights, red, yellow and green indicates stop, caution or slow down and proceed respectively. Next question 43. Write a note on the need of wearing helmets by bikers and riders. So wearing a helmet while riding a motorcycle or bicycle is crucial for rider safety, significantly reducing the risk of severe head and brain injuries and is often legally mandated. Next question 44. What are the major causes of deforestation in Northeast India? So the major causes of deforestation in Northeast India include shifting cultivation, which is also known as jhum cultivation, illegal logging, infrastructure development and mining activities, all exacerbated by population growth and the need for arable land. 
Next question 45. What are the causes of threats to biodiversity? So the main causes of threats to biodiversity are as follows. Number one, habitat loss and degradation. So clearing forest for agriculture, that is deforestation, urbanization and logging reduces habitat for many species. Intensive farming practices, including the use of pesticides and fertilizers can also harm ecosystem and biodiversity. Next is pollution. Emission from industries and vehicles can acidify rain, damage ecosystems and harm wildlife. Along with it, industrial and agricultural runoff can contaminate water bodies, harming aquatic life and human health. Next question 46. Write short notes on the following. So sources of sound pollution. So the Sources of sound pollution are number one transportation cars trucks motorcycles and buses all contribute to noise pollution especially in urban areas on the other hand trains especially when they are accelerating or braking can generate significant noise number two construction activities heavy machinery like bulldozers cranes and jackhammers produce loud constant noise road construction activities include drilling and pavement breaking also contribute to noise pollution. Next is number B, greenhouse effect. So the greenhouse effect is a natural process where gases in the Earth's atmosphere trap heat, preventing it from escaping into space and keeping the planet warm enough to support life. The main greenhouse gases include water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and ozone. Next is Assam State Disaster Response Force. So the SDRF is a specialized unit within the Assam Police focused on search and rescue operations during disasters. The SDRF plays a crucial role in responding to disasters, working alongside other agencies like the National Disaster Response Force and the Assam State Disaster Management Authority. Next is conservation of biodiversity. So conservation of biodiversity refers to the protection, preservation and management of ecosystems and natural habitats to ensure their health and functionality, ultimately aiming to safeguard the variety of life on Earth. Next is international driving permit. So an international driving permit IDP also known as an international driving license is a translation of a home country's driving license allowing us to drive a private motor vehicle in countries that recognize the document. The IDP is valid for one year from the date of its issue or until the validity of our doc domestic license whichever comes first. Next question 47 what is biopiracy? So biopiracy is the illegal and unethical exploitation of genetic resources and traditional knowledge without consent or compensation. It can involve patenting information to gain control of resources or products. Next question 48. What valid documents should be carried by a non-transport personnel vehicle? For a non-transport -po personnel vehicle in India, we should always carry a valid driving license, RC, insurance certificate and a PUC. Next question 49. What is the purpose of wearing a seat belt in the vehicle? The primary purpose of wearing a seat belt in a vehicle is to secure occupants and mitigate injuries during a crash by preventing them from being thrown around or ejected from the vehicle, while also distributing impact forces across stronger parts of the body. Next question 50. What is tropic level? So tropic levels represent the position of an organism within a food chain or food web indicating how it obtains nutrients and energy. Tropic levels also help illustrate the structure and complexity of food webs, showing how different organisms interact and depend on each other for food. They range from producers like plants at the base to apex predators at the top, with each level representing a different stage of energy transfer. So a video to my got one to mark type for Jiman important questions as Lego data discuss coilu. So you get a tomalaka silo by your PDF to my description box or didim to tomalaka prapo hilobo pariba and logote next video to my important long questions bo didim. So that kind of channel to subscribe kori toba.